Hi everyone, welcome on board. This is Anisha here. Please make sure you guys watch this video right till the end so that you can understand everything you need to know about the CUET PG exam. We are going to talk about the expected dates, registration, important dates so that you can remember, fill the application forms on time, download your admit cards and we talk about the syllabus and the preparation strategy for the same. Especially all the folks who are planning to apply to TIS programs, this year TISnet has been cancelled and would be accepting your CUET PG scores. So make sure you guys remember the dates and don't miss that out. All the master's programs including the flagship MBA, HR and ODCL programs are also accepting the CUET PG scores. Okay, so let's get started. First thing, last year the exam was conducted in June. There were a little hiccups in the exam and it had to be rescheduled but forget those hiccups. Ex expect the paper to be around June or maybe pre poned this year since a lot of colleges are going to be accepting it. The registration process for the same started on 20th of March and was open for a month till 19th April. So let's expect the same for us this year as well also. While registering, you'll have to do two major things. One, check out which papers are you applying in for and make sure you know which colleges you are applying because they have multiple sections. Okay. So if you will see in the registration process, it would have been stated you are allowed to apply for three test papers out of seven test papers. Okay. With respect to test papers, they have different categories. 1, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 3A, 3B and they have a paper code for all of these things. Very complex. Check this out. But for us, for it's since CUT PGs for all master's exams, not just MBA. The good thing is most of the NBA exams fall under the category of CQP 12. TIS can accept CQP 12 or 11 that has not be con not yet been confirmed or announced to say stay tuned to the channel so that we will keep you updated about the notifications, what they are accepting, what they are not accepting. The only difference which is there is CQP 12, which is accepted by most of the MBA programs, does not have GK, whereas COQP 11 has GK. So the question is whether TIS will accept GK or not. Going by the previous years, yes, it should accept GK, but we open for it that it takes no GK as well this year. So while you are preparing, prepare for the paper pattern and syllabus of both of these sections. So I'll tell you guys about the syllabus for both of them okay if we come back to what is common what do we have to study for sure essentially please remember important things the exam is going to be a two hour exam 100 questions 400 marks there is negative marking coming in for the same as well also okay exam time slot which you need to remember they have the exam in two time slots which is 10 a.m. in the morning, shift 1, 10 to 12 or shift 2 which is 3 to 5 p.m. Okay, so you will have your different shifts, whichever you've taken, you take the exam within that particular shift for whichever paper code that you have selected. It's a completely online exam. The registration process is also online on the NTA website. Once the forms are out, we'll do a dedicated video with respect to how to fill the form. The application fees is somewhere around 1000 to 1500 depending on number of papers you select to apply depending on the courses you are applying to and category. This is for the general category. The fees for the reserved category students is 500 onwards. Okay, now let's talk about what do we have to study. So if you look at the paper pattern, it's not very different from the subjects which you have studied for your CAT, CET, CMAT. Essentially, if I have to draw synergies, CMAT and CUET PG is pretty similar with respect to the type of questions and the difficulty level of questions. So the course which you are enrolling in for will help you cover up mock tests, section wise tests and the LOD one syllabus for the entire course as well. And if you're already preparing for CMAT, this should not be very complex and difficult. Also, very similar to NMAT and SNAP as well. Topics which you have to study 
in the coq p11 and 12 both of them the most common questions which are there first is your english comprehension section which includes grammar usage errors para jumbles sentence correction sentence improvement reading comprehension paragraph completion one word substitution synonym antonyms idioms and phrases this is the exact syllabus for your nmat snap cmat as well so it's the same preparation so do not worry just practice a little more that's what you have to keep in mind correct then if we talk about general knowledge section gk may or may not come but if it is coming it will be similar headings which you are again studying for all the other exams which include your literature history indian constitution personalities sports national and international economy which is your you know world health organizations and various organizations which are there which exist those questions have always been coming uh, economics based questions science political trade geography culture something which you had expected in tisnet as well similar gk comes in here as well okay then you have your general aptitude which is your logical reasoning section where we talk about in the logical reasoning section we have questions coming from ranking test linear arrangements circular arrangement matrix arrangements then complete critical reasoning which is statements and arguments cause and effect statement and assumption statement and conclusion strengthening weakening different types of questions then comes our logical reasoning questions which is number series blood relations coding decoding non verbal reasoning tests symbol based questions analogy based questions direction sense and ranking test ranking test clocks calendars and sequencing which is essentially like your you know word letter series or your input output based questions as well so again lr syllabus also similar to what you are doing for your snap and nmat combined last comes your quants and data interpretation quants you have arithmetic complete arithmetic is there which is mentioned so it's partnership simple interest compound interest profit loss price and assistance percentages time speed distance train works wages essentially a lot of questions based on only arithmetic but do not strict to just that please do study algebra numbers geometry modern maths everything as well because you've already been studying for the other exams might as well study it might come in cuet as well also all right last comes our data interpretation where we have all the types of graphs that's pie charts line charts tables bar graph mixed charts data sufficiency based questions and the venn diagram based questions as well all right so that's your entire syllabus which comes in the cuet pg exam so essentially we've talked about your expected dates of the exam expected registration dates syllabus which you have to cover in the next 3 to 4 months expected dates are not yet out so once the actual dates are announced we will do a dedicated video with respect to the registration process and your preparation strategy for all of you who are starting right now start with your basics make sure you do lod 1 which is level of difficulty 1 questions get your basics right know your concepts well start with topic wise tests or sectional tests and then get on to the complete 100 questions to ask practice as well also if you've not yet started your preparation check out the course link in the description let's get started and make sure we guys are able to make it to all the top colleges accepting the cuet pg course including tis mumbai this year all right if you guys have any doubts any questions anything that you would like to know more about these exams and colleges please drop in the comment section and i will take that up for you and make sure you guys do well in cuet as well oh my